What's going on guys? Tyler here, back, RC Drag Talk. Uh, today's episode we're just going to do a little uh, shop update, what's new, uh, where have I been, you know, got a couple things here to show you guys, uh, working on some stuff in the background, waiting on uh, the wonderful U.S. Postal Service. Uh, my project should have been here three or four days ago now, but uh, still somewhere in their wonderful system, so hopefully it gets here, you know, one of these days. Uh, stay tuned for that. I'll release it as soon as it gets here. Um, otherwise, got some cool things in the shop. Uh, I did a Facebook Live video because that's all I really had time for, so if you caught that, you already know what these are. If not, these are cat packs from my man Jason Flores on Facebook. Look them up. Jason Flores. He makes these cat packs called flow packs. Uh, this one's for uh, my slash, a little bit bigger. And then I went ahead and picked up this flow mini 2S cat pack for the, uh, the new build that's coming up. So that should be able to give you guys a little hint. It's at least a two cell build. And uh, <clears throat> they're a wonderful product for a great price. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know what else to tell you guys. Go take them out. Uh, pick yourself up one. They're a good price. Uh, won't break the bank. And they work. Do a good job. If you're not running a cat pack on your drag car, I suggest you get one. Next up on the list of parts to show off, we got this wonderful MKS HV69 servo. This thing right here, I'll put the specs up on the screen. I'm not going to mess anything up by telling you guys numbers. I'll just show you the servo. So, um, this thing right here was designed for, from what I've been told, the Traxxas Funny Car. So, this is a direct replacement servo for the Traxxas Funny Car. It will also work great as a pro mod servo, pro stock servo, uh, rail, funny car, you name it, it will work great. It's very lightweight, uh, has great numbers, which again I said I'll put up on the screen right here. And uh, yeah, check them out. They also have these sweet aluminum servo horns on there for cheap, MKS. Awesome servos. Couple more things to show you guys. I finally got my tow rig all finished. If you haven't seen the clip on Instagram yet, I'll uh, I'll put it up here. It's uh, pretty outrageous to think that this little truck has gotten like thirty something thousand views on Instagram, but uh, here it is. It's an uh, old Axial SCX-10 that I uh, put a Tamiya semi-truck front axle under with leaf springs. It has a uh, Proline Prime uh, rear tires, Proline uh, C-10 body. I did the wood bed drop-in in the toolbox. All the paint is done by me. Um, yeah, here it is. This is my new tow rig. All this is designed and built to do is tow my trailer around. Uh, look pretty, you know, go sit on the shelf at races, let people check it out. That's pretty much what I built it for. So this is now finally done. What else? What else? What else? I don't think you guys have seen this body yet that I did, maybe you have, maybe you haven't. I'll put up a couple beauty shots uh, down below. But it's got an interior, little driver dude. Uh, you know, I'll put the motor on the hood, try to make it look, you know, pretty cool. I run this on my slash sometimes. Right now I got the uh, Crow Mod, Crow body on there, the OG Crow. Flat black crow on the uh, slash. And I also went ahead and painted this thing up for a uh, project. 
check out this sweet rear spoiler wing, whatever you guys want to call it. That my man, uh, I don't even know if I should tell you guys who designed and made this. But uh, if you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. I'll leave it at that. So, uh, yeah, I got one of these sweet 3D printed wings from my buddy. And uh, I don't think he's trying to sell them to everybody. So I'm not going to give him a shout out and tell him who made them. But, yeah, got one of these mounted up on here. So uh, this should be another good hint as to uh, what I'm building as soon as USPS drops it off. And, uh, yeah, man, I don't really... Got too much. I mean, I picked up some of these sweet front wheels right here from my man uh, Grace with RC Speed Shop. Uh, like 40 something bucks. Uh, they're all aluminum front wheels for your drag car. And then uh, I didn't really like the unfinished look of them, so I spent about four or five hours with my Dremel and some Mother's Polish and made these things a uh, little bling bling. So, also painted up the rear Mike Smith rims to match uh, the best I could. Yeah, that's about it. Wheelie bar, spec car, great car. And uh, I think that's all I got for you guys. Oh, one thing I didn't show you guys in the AMA video Check out this sweet tool right here I picked up. I'll put some close-ups on the uh, screen over here on the pit mat. But uh, these sweet tools from uh, Micro Fasteners. I was walking through the AMA show. They had all sorts of uh, cool stuff. Like these... Uh... Hang on a second, guys. I had all sorts of cool stuff like these screw packs right here. So you got, you know, your M3 assorted bolts and nuts and everything. And then I picked up some 440, uh, same type of thing, you know, miscellaneous screws and uh, bolts, whatnot. Oh, the other thing I forgot to mention. I went ahead and picked up this sweet limited time offer which I don't think they're going anymore, so sorry guys, I should have done this sooner. Uh, Tim Smith Edition Cal RC Pit Mat. Uh, it's like the perfect size pit mat for your pro stock car, so you don't have to have one of these massive like work mats if you don't have room for that. Uh, I'll get the dimensions on it because Cal still sells these, it's just the special edition pricing, I guess, is not going on. Maybe it is. I don't know. I'll put the link below. Check them out. CalRC.com. Uh, yeah, they're awesome. If you don't have yourself a magnetic screw catcher, get yourself one. And uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think that's all I got for you guys today on this uh, shop update. Can't really think of anything else to talk to you guys about. Um, the track. You guys know the track's supposed to be coming to Lake Elsinore Storm Stadium soon. Um, last I heard, we're still waiting on city's approval and uh, the final, you know, signatures and cross the T's, dot the I's to be done on the paperwork. So as soon as that's all finally said and done, uh, we'll be releasing the schedule for uh, Scale Drag Racing Association. Stay tuned for that. Um, also, coming up here next year there's going to be a big event going on in Southern California four times okay you got four races it's going to be called King of the Streets okay RC King of the Streets what it's going to be is a full on no prep race we got eight scale run what you run anything goes okay everything buggies trucks serpents on road cars, you know, your Mugens, you name it, bring it. Okay, if you got an A scale car and you think you're the fastest guy out there, bring it on out. Other than that, we got 10 scale, anything goes, okay? So you want to run, you know, your, your Pro Mod or your Pro Stock or even a Rail, whatever you want, you think it's fastest down an unprepped, 
bare surface road, bring it on out, find out. There's going to be four races, like I said, every three months. We're going to try to bring all the local groups from all around together to one spot every three months to find out who's the fastest. At the end of the year, whoever's got the most wins, they're the king of the street. They're the ones that actually get to run their mouths on Facebook and say they are the fast book, fastest. So stay tuned for the release of the dates of that. I'll be sharing it on Facebook and uh, Instagram, of course. Um, we're working with a couple different Instagram groups right now with that, so you'll see it all over the place. And uh, yeah, like I said, stay tuned. So you think you got the fastest car, A scale or 10 scale, bring it on out. And then uh, the last class is going to be a big dog class. So there's a lot of uh, controversy online, you know, whether what's faster. So the big dog class is where you find out. It's open to anyone and everyone. It doesn't matter if you got a 12 scale car or you got a 5th scale car, you got an A scale four wheel drive, or you got a Pro Mod. If you're willing to put it on the street and race it next to anyone that lines up next to you for money and you win, you are without a doubt the fastest person around because you're willing to race anyone. I'll just leave it at that. So that's all I got for you today guys. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, uh, share it please. Uh, get all your friends out there. Oh, we did it. We finally hit a thousand subscribers. Thank you all very much for uh, subscribing to my channel and following along.